Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Plague Incorporated Evolved Blind Sort of That was a very, very dramatic intro Or something Anyway, um, yes, we've, we've played most of the stuff I really wanted But there's still a lot of these permutations we haven't so, I don't know, why not? People seem to enjoy them, so... Let's do global warming first. Created equal, I'm not really a fan of, it's just... You know, everything is a lot harder. Unknown origin is just the normal game, but you can't select a country. So let's do global warming. Huge releases of greenhouse gases significantly accelerate global warming and raise the global surface temperature by over 6 degrees Celsius, as well as triggering other climate change events and flooding of low-lying countries. Now this is the one that interests me the most. The flooding of low-lying countries. Does that mean we'll actually have... You know, less some of the countries actually flooded. We'll see. Um, right, which which one are we going to play? We haven't played the parasite in a very long time. Hmm. Parasitic lifestyle prevents DNA alteration from everyday infection. Yeah, let's. Uh, Nurex swarm is a lot of fun, of course, but let's do parasite maybe. The prion is also interesting. Yeah, let's do a uh, parasite. I also like it because it's so difficult to uh, find. Genetic mimic. Your plague is harder to cure. No. Let's do. Uh, well, increases the chance of your plague mutating. I guess. Spread by sea. Humid climates. Actually, urban, arid climates. Well, it's probably going to be a lot of arid places, right? Right, bonus DNA when devolving. Okay, normal. PAX 12. Alright, PAX 12 is fine. You're a new parasite. To win, you must evolve and spread across the world. Okay, remember that the world has changed. Use the country information screen to see the country climate and demographics. Okay, so it didn't actually flood areas of... Hmm. Oh, well. Um... Right, so let's start in... Yeah, let's start somewhere else for a change. Why not? Let's start in India, for example. So let's see. Oh, this is humid and hot. These are still arid and hot. This is still cold. Russia is still cold. Oh, this is now arid and hot. This is not... Uh, uh, UK is not cold anymore. Of course, this is still cold. This is... Arid and hot. Yeah, quite a lot of uh, hot parts over here. Alright, so, yeah, let's... No, you know what? We haven't never started in Argentina, for example. It's gonna be a lot more difficult, I think. Let's start in Brazil. It's gonna be a lot more difficult. It does... They do have uh, an airport and a uh, port, so... has infected its first human. We can use to hot temperatures. It must evolve using DNA points to infect more people. And that is what we shall do. Pax-12 is a parasite. Parasitic lifestyle prevents the player from getting DNA points by infecting people. DNA bubbles are the best way to get points. And that is why we have that extra DNA from DNA bubbles thing. Trait. Magic. Whatever. Yeah. Oh, that was a lot, actually. Transmission first. Let's see. Symptoms. Abilities. No, this is the one. Parasite becomes more in tune with host, making it less likely to be noticed. That's an excellent one. Because it actually makes it almost completely invisible. Uh, anyway, transmission first. Water and air. Latest research shows that cold countries are getting significantly, <laughs> significantly colder. <laughs> well, okay. I thought we were the whole, with the whole global warming thing and everything. Well, I guess it makes sense, but... Oh. Uh, air, please. Thank you. New robotic juicer banned in 17 countries. Took someone's head off. Right. I'm still confused. This game has been in development for a while now, yet it still has mono music. I want it stereo. I know it's available, because you can search for it on YouTube. Especially the uh, Nurex Worm, which is so cool. Um, yeah, I, I don't really get it. Let's get more heat resistance. So now we should be able to resist all the hot countries. But we will need, of course, cold resistance for later. Not here, though, because, uh, yeah. It's not a problem. Um, well, let's get this as well. 
these are not rich countries, of course, but uh, when we do get there, billions of dollars of damage caused in New Zealand. Who expects it will take years to repair the damage caused to thousands of businesses, homes and research facilities? Not great. Oh, thank you. New Zealand. Oh, 2,000 dead. Yeah, that's quite a lot. Uh, right. Transmission, I guess. Um, let's have insects. Actually, birds. Come on, spread my virus. Spread! Thank you. Pax 12 has muted to develop the rash symptom. Just please tell me that I can uh, devolve it. Yeah, refund. Excellent. So that's pretty cool. Also, I'm gonna buy this because we did have a little bit of severity and now we have no severity. So that's pretty, uh, pretty cool. Alright. Nice. We've uh, gone to a new country now. That's good. Uh, let's also have rodents because they're good for urban environments. There we go. Was that Colombia? No, that was Peru. Okay. Come on then. Spread my little worms. Spread. Ugh. That sounds nasty, actually. <laughs> Experts have noticed very high levels of bird migration. They are worried that birds could rapidly spread disease between countries if they, be they become infected. Yes, indeed, they will. And yes, indeed, they should be worried. But fortunately, they're not uh, taking care of birds yet. Because there's no reason to. Oh, how the hell did... Pax-12 has muted to develop the rest of... How the hell did we come over there? I didn't see a uh, an infected ship or... Oh yes, there was an infected ship. You can see the red dots. Oh, so nice. Right, so that's good. Oh, bloody hell, nice. Now I do believe we'll need some coal resistance as well. So let's do that because now Japan is hot. And France is hot as well. USA is hot as well. Nice. Now we're spreading nicely. Yeah, the parasite is very sort of casual, nice little uh, thing. Because you don't, you know, you don't have to worry about getting found out with that uh, parasitic option where you decrease the severity. I mean, look at this. We still have two more options and we're still at zero severity, so... When did I get drug re Oh yeah, I did get drug resistance, okay. Let's get more cold resistance. Even though we're still not in any of the cold countries, I think. Yeah. But I think cold resistance does help with um, countries with a lot of humidity. So that's alright. And not a lot of... Hmm. Do I need level 2 heat resistance or something? Probably not. I mean, I could get it. It's 27 DNA points. Um, let's get insects as well. Nausea symptom. We don't want nausea. We don't want anything. But this is nice because it gives us more DNA. So that's pretty brilliant. A bit overpowered, if you ask me. Because you, you can just get increased mutation chances. And then just keep getting money from that. So that's pretty awesome. And still, the world is not... Um, any wiser that we are there creeping about. Yeah, probably shouldn't spend too much DNA on transmissions now because it's spreading fairly nicely. So that is pretty cool. Look at that. Yeah, there we go. Madagascar. Take that, Madagascar. In those flash versions of the other game, apparently, from the other developer, you were a bastard. They always close their ports. Always. And screwed the game up. Even if you infected the entire world, it seemed that no ships ever left for Madagascar. Or if they did, they were not infected, of course. We should be getting pretty close now to a full infection, except, of course, Greenland and Iceland. Let's see. Uh, oh, I take that back. Still a lot of countries that haven't been infected. Wow. There we go, Iceland. Nice. Nausea. Look at uh, Japan there. It's like a center for disease. Look at that. Going everywhere. As well as London and Saudi Arabia. Oh no! I know! I, I missed that little... Oh. Heavy flooding has occurred in New Zealand. Oh my god. Who analysts warn of severe damage to national biotech industry and research facilities? Bloody hell, they had a, an earthquake and now heavy flooding. Uh, they're not happy. 
Not happy at all there. There we go. Do I need more coal resistance? No, I already have it level 2, so that's pretty good. I could get this. 30 DNA, bloody hell. Oh, that's alright. Um, nah, I'm not gonna bother. Very slow infections in Canada, but hmm, should be okay, I think. Already some dead, yeah, but only 2,000 from the flooding and the earthquakes. There we go. There we go. Should be just a few countries. Greenland and Sweden. Sweden always seems to uh, avoid infection as well, for some reason. Quite interesting, but no matter, because the, uh, the countries next to it are... There we go. New Guinea celebrates the festival of love. Yay! Everybody kiss and hug and spread my worms! <laughs> go minions! I just need someone to go to Greenland now. Lovely. 108 DNA, that's pretty crazy. I still wonder why this bar fills up like that. I mean, it's not like you can... You can have a maximum amount of DNA, it just keeps going. Come on, someone to Greenland, please. <clears throat> calling parasite, calling parasite. Oh, nausea symptom. We have to do this quickly, because uh, at this amount of infection, they are going to find us almost instantly if you get a symptom. <clears throat> Excuse me. There we go. Well, we do have everything. I mean, we have all the coal resistance. So, we're just waiting for an infected ship to go over there. And that should be it. Canada. Uh, where does it go? I think it goes from Norway? I always forget. Ah, there we go. I think it was Norway, yeah. Huge earthquake in Korea. Alright. Uh, only 2,000 dead, but... Uh. Wow, that sounded horrible, didn't it? Only 2,000 dead. <laughs> Ah, uh, we have to remember, we're playing a game. Kazakhstan is... Hmm. Nausea symptom. Nope, not yet. Not yet. Hold your horses. 154 DNA. Yeah, this is pretty... Pretty damn easy. But the good thing about this is... We'll be unlocking more of the traits and everything. So that's pretty nice. Right, this is cold and... Rich. So, we should probably do more... Uh, drug resistance. I don't think it's gonna be necessary, because now it's just gonna shoot up when there's a lot of people infected. Ah, see, these countries are still uh, cold, but they are all human. As you can see, all these cold countries have become very humid as well. There you go. Insomnia. Not yet. Oh, actually, I wouldn't e even need to devolve that because severity is still at zero. Almost 200 DNA now. Wow, this parasite is beca uh, gonna become absolutely 100% lethal in an instant. <laughs> Alright, come on then. Yes. I wonder, there's no other way with the parasite, right? You just kill everyone, I believe. That's the only victory possible here. There's no mind control or anything like that. That's the Nurex Swarm. I still love playing the Nurex Swarm. It's such a fun little thing. No news. Only festivals of love and such. There we go. Almost 200 DNA now. That's gonna be brilliant. There we go. Greenland about to be infected fully. Canada as well is boosting up now. 198. Will it actually stop at 200? I doubt. No, 203 DNA. <laughs> oh, wow. PAX 12 has not been noticed yet. <laughs> Only 30 million healthy people in the world still. And dropping rapidly now. Right. Greenland almost fully infected. Canada will just shoot up now. There we go. Nausea symptom. Not yet. Slight chance of infection. Don't need it. It's alright. I just need the DNA. There we go. Canada is shooting up there now. Greenland as well. Not as quickly, but yeah, there we go. Oh man, look at that. The entire world just colored red. Alright. 
There we go. Almost there. Almost there. I want everyone to be infected. Everyone. And then we'll just boost lethality. Mystery still surrounds the decision to postpone the London Olympics. There we go. Greenland. Everyone has been infected. And Canada. Now as well. Bang. Well, come on. The last person has been infected. I want that. Healthy zero. Why did it not say that? That's odd. Right. Well, now. Can I refund this as well? I can. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Well. Let's have a bit of fun, then. Um, cysts. Ugh. Hypersensitivity. Or abscesses. Ugh. Tumors. Uh, systemic infection. Ugh. Coma. Total organ failure. Uh, immune suppression. Let's do pulmonary fibrosis. And also paralysis. What's over there? Inflammation. No, let's do tumors. Internal hemorrhaging. Ugh. Hemorrhagic shock. Necrosis. Oh man, look at that. 100% lethality now. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, that was expensive, but look at all that. And now, bang! The dead are piling up. A diagnostic team in Russia has identified a new disease which has been named Pax-12. It is quite severe and must be investigated further. Other countries are also reporting this disease. First death from Pax-12 has been confirmed in Mexico when it's already f more than 4 million dead. The last healthy person on the planet... Huh? That was a while ago. That was a bit bizarre. And look at that. France has already shut down the port. Time will tell if this will work. It will not because everyone is already infected. India is the first to tell doctors to start research. And it's going to take one year and 342 days. And it's already... A lot of research has been destroyed. Argentina... Life in Argentina is breaking down. Research doctors are completely focused. And yeah, not really. Come on then. No, oh, I can get more stuff, why not? Um hmm. Immune suppression. Fever, skin lesions, uh inflammation. Let's do pulmonary edema and diarrhea. Poland is first to fall into anarchy. I thought that was Argentina. Oh no, it was just breaking down there. And now everything is stopping. Ugh, spooky. There we go. Planes have stopped. Ships have stopped. All of these have stopped. It's all dead. Bolivia's government has fallen. One million. Pax-12 has destroyed the world despite the world's best efforts. The last few humans know they are watching the end of history. And when the aliens come over and see this, they'll just say, let's go. Pax-12 has successfully eliminated all life on Earth. Well, that was fun. I like the parasite. It's nice. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.